Hello everyone and welcome back to A Girl Named John. So as the title suggests, we are going to Las Vegas. As I'm filming this, it's T minus four days until we leave, almost to the hour. So I definitely need to get my packing done. What I'm gonna do with you guys today is I have some outfits that I've planned. Most of my inspiration has come from Pinterest. I will pop up some of my inspiration photos as I'm trying on the outfits that pertains to them as we go along. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go through all of the outfits that I have planned, see if I like them. If I like what I see, I'll just put it in the bag so that everything's ready to go. If I need to tweak a few things, that's what we'll do. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of my packing process and my outfit planning process. And I've never been to Las Vegas before, so I'm very excited. I have some very special pieces in here that I've never worn before or that I've never put together before. But I want to look kind of fun, kind of sexy, you know, Las Vegas is one of those places that you can kind of really let loose. So we'll see how we feel about the outfits that I have planned. But without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so this is outfit number one. I will be wearing it in the airport on Friday morning. Our flight leaves at an ungodly hour, like 4 a.m. So I definitely want to be comfortable but still stay warm because we are leaving from Baltimore. So it'll still be pretty chilly. Um, so yeah, this is a super simple, comfortable, easy outfit. I have my favorite pair of pants on ever. They're my American Eagle joggers. They're just this olive army green color with huge pockets because they're from the men's section. So pro tip ladies, if you can fit in men's pants, get men's pants because they're better in every way <laughs> possible. And then I just have a really comfy v-neck, black, easy. And then I think this leather jacket is gonna be the only jacket that I take because my suitcase is really small. We're doing carry-on only, so I kinda have to keep everything compact. But this will still keep me nice and warm and be cute enough to dress up, dress down, all of those type of things. So this is a definite yes outfit. This is definitely going in the suitcase. So outfit number one, done. Okay, so Friday night, we are going to a show. We're going to see an Elvis impersonator. So I wanted something very Vegas. And this shirt is the most Vegas thing that I own. It is incredible. It's vintage from the 70s. My grandmother gave it to me. I mean, just look at the colors, the patterns, the sheer sleeves, the cuffs. It is insane. I kept the rest of the outfit just all black just to show off this just incredible, incredible shirt. It does button, um, but my grandma was like a size zero in the 70s and I am decidedly not a size zero. So it won't, won't stay buttoned over uh, my chest. So I'm just gonna wear it open, but I think it's just as cute open. I absolutely love this shirt and I'm so excited to finally have an opportunity to wear it because here I don't have anywhere to wear it. So Vegas is the perfect opportunity to let it shine. I'm so excited. This is a definite yes too. So outfit number two, done. All of Friday is totally packed for. Okay, so we're on to outfit number three, which brings us to Saturday daytime. We have nothing planned for the daytime. So I guess uh, Chase and I are just gonna walk around the strip, see what there is to See, I have a couple things that I want to do, but nothing is really set in stone until later that evening when we have dinner. I'm going to want to change into something more formal for dinner, but I think during the day we're going to go with these adorable sparkly jeans that have all of these diamantes on the front. They're just plain in the back, but they're still really cute. I think, though, the star of the show is this shirt. It's a little risky. Gay, um, but I really love the color and I'm just gonna wear like a bandeau underneath it so that if it does like move around that I'm still very secure and covered under there. I like the tie detail. I think it's really cute. I think this is a good Vegas option. The only thing is tucking in this shirt with this tie makes it like very bulky and also the back tends to like bunch up and you can really see the bralette like through 
the shirt so i don't know guys we might have to find another option i really like this shirt though Ugh, i don't know what do you guys think we'll try something else if not we'll definitely come back to this okay so this is option number two with the diamante jeans it has a cute little detail at the top here but it's just very simple like throw on shirt i don't know if this is interesting enough you know what i mean like this is just kind of an everyday shirt is it interesting enough for vegas we might try another bralette under the other shirt and see if that makes any difference. If not, we are going to have to go with this option. Just because that one, I don't know if I'll be comfortable in it. Oh, guys, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. We were two for two, but now on the third one. Ah! Okay, so, fun update. I have tried on every single bra that I own with this shirt tucked into these pants. And I, I think I'm just going to, if I'm going to wear it, I have to wear it untucked, which I hate not tucking in my shirts now because I feel like I lose my waist and the tie does help because it does cinch in like the smallest part of my waist. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take this top and the other one, see how we feel on the day, see which one we decide on. And then this is the outfit that I plan to change into Saturday night for dinner and if we go out after. It's just a really simple, pretty black dress. I love the sleeves. They add some drama. It is lacy. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up from this distance and if I walk in closer, my lighting won't be able to get me. So it is just a cute little above the knee length. I'm sorry I can't like get back any farther and show you my feet. I'm not wearing any shoes anyway, so you're not missing anything down there. But yeah, so this is the dress that I'm planning to take to change into on Saturday night. I think it's a really good option. I do have some just like opaque tights that I'm gonna take. Just some nude, you know, everyday tights that I'm gonna wear because it is gonna get chilly, unfortunately, in the evenings. And then let me throw on my leather jacket over top of this just to see if it looks cute. Hold on one second. Okay. Ugh. It will hide like the sleeve detail, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah, and then just take it off when we get inside. And then boom, sleeve reveal. Love it. Perfect. This is definitely going in the suitcase. That was much easier than the last one. So let's see what the next outfit brings. On Sunday morning, we are going to the Bellagio for brunch. So I definitely want to feel bad and bougie. So what's more bad and bougie than faux fur with a bright purple silk lining. I absolutely love this vest. I've had it forever. This vest has so many memories. If you were a part of the vest crew and you know what I'm talking about, yeah, this is the best. So I absolutely love this vest, long story short. So the rest of the outfit is just black. It's the same black jeans from earlier and then just a black turtleneck. I like to keep outfits pretty simple and then have one statement piece. So this does have some eyelets that I can close if I want to, just to like keep it cinched right on the chest. I think that's a cute little look there. It has pockets, so that's very exciting. Yeah, this is a definite yes. It's just a super simple, easy, but still very casually bougie outfit. Okay, so for our last night, Sunday night, we are seeing a Cirque du Soleil show. So I wanted something very elegant, very cute, something simple to throw on so that I can just go sit in the theater but look very nice. So this is it. I'm so excited with how this turned out. It's just the same black turtleneck that I had on for my day look. I just threw on some black tights and then this potato sack dress. Yes, it's actually called a potato sack dress. It has this adorable little tie detail here. 
this outfit is so cute like with a big ring big earrings i have some high heeled booties that i'm gonna wear this is absolutely perfect i'm so happy with how it came out this is a suitcase yes so all we have left is the airport look which i'm sure will go just fine so let's wrap this up okay so last but certainly not least is my airport outfit for monday morning i know i'm going to be absolutely exhausted because our flight leaves again at an ungodly hour i think it's 6 a.m this time and we have a three hour layover in boston so i'm definitely gonna want to be very comfortable so this is one of my old faithful just throw on comfy shirts i've had it since high school just have on some black leggings this is very much adequate <laughs> um so yeah that's all said this is going in the suitcase everything is done it was quite the process but i'm super happy and in t minus four days we'll see how everything looks under the glittering neon of las vegas thank you guys so much for watching i love you all have a wonderful day